Hi, this is a project I was working on yesterday. It's um, basically I was asked to see if I could build something that could grab a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation, and just loop it on a external display. Decided to use a Raspberry Pi for the purpose. Um, and I'm using the memory stick here to store the PowerPoint presentation as it's going to have to be edited through a Windows computer using PowerPoint rather than Linux and LibreOffice or OpenOffice, something like that. For those of you who aren't familiar, this is Raspberry Pi. The SD card stores the OS and boots from it. Uh, the memory card is just a bit of external storage. Um, but it's powered through this cable here. This is a micro USB and this output in through this HDMI cable here to this display. Um, I had a few limitations, which is why I went with this option, using the removable storage rather than um, any kind of wireless or um, storing the PowerPoint directly on the SD card as well. Couldn't do that because Windows doesn't support multiple partitions on SD cards. So yeah, best option, I wasn't able to network this Raspberry Pi. I wasn't able to install anything on the computers on the thing, so I couldn't push it files through FTP or anything like that. Um, so the idea is if they want to update the presentation, they just have to take that memory stick out, plug it into a Windows PC, edit it in PowerPoint, save it as a PowerPoint file. And uh, yeah, when this is booted up, it will just automatically boot up and start looping through the presentation. Demonstrate that now. You see it's starting to boot already. It takes about two minutes um, from boot up to go into presentation mode. Um, I'm using the Raspberry and distribution on it. Uh, I needed something with a um, LXDE so it could run LibreOffice to show the presentation. Um, basically, all that happens is there's a startup script to just automatically start LibreOffice, impre impress in presentation mode straight from that script. Uh, straight from the presentation file on the memory stick. You can see LibreOffice is starting now. I had a few issues with uh, the automatic start of LibreOffice, seeing as uh, there's no input, everything had to run smoothly, any dialog boxes that came up were no good, and um, they're not going to be able to issue safe shutdown commands, so I had to uh, do a workaround to delete any temporary and recovery files that LibreOffice stores every time it's open, as they kept problems bringing up prompts. It's almost loaded the presentation now. Yeah. There was, a, as you can imagine, a few compatibility issues between a PowerPoint and LibreOffice. Got them sorted. Main thing was, uh, you know, they needed the file to still be editable on Windows, but LibreOffice automatically um, adds in a 10 second pause in between loops for any PowerPoint file for some reason. And uh, if I tried to do it as an open document, PowerPoint would corrupt it every time it tried to save it. So yeah, uh, the presentation's running through now. Um, I'll let it loop through once all the way around and you can see that the loop is sorted on there. That was honestly the bit that took the longest to figure out. There's no reason they couldn't have uh, music or anything behind this as well. I'm pretty sure uh, I haven't tried This isn't a very technical presentation, but I think any feature they get into PowerPoint could probably be ported to work with this in LibreOffice. There we go, that's back at the first slide again. So it's not looping anymore, yeah. Not pausing anymore, I mean, in between loops. All right, so that's how you can uh, use £45 worth of parts to loop a presentation on any display unit you want. Bye bye.